A hundred and five regular verbs with ed in the past from EspressoEnglish.net. Many English learners make pronunciation mistakes with the ed ending of regular verbs in English in the past tense. There are three ways to pronounce ed, like t, like ed with an extra syllable, and like d. Let's do some English pronunciation practice with examples. And if you want to get more training, check out my American English pronunciation course. Pronounce ed like t after verbs ending with a k sound. For example, asked, checked, kicked, liked, looked, talked, thanked, walked, worked and after verbs ending with an S sound. For example, confessed, crossed, dressed, embarrassed, guessed, impressed, increased, missed, passed, promised, Remember that the letter C in English can also sometimes have an S sound. For example, announced, danced, forced, influenced, introduced, noticed, reduced. We also pronounce ED like T after verbs ending with an SH sound. For example, brushed, crashed, punished, pushed, rushed, and after verbs ending with a CH sound. For example, matched, punched, reached, searched as well as after verbs ending with an F sound or an X sound, such as laughed, fixed, relaxed. We pronounce ED like ID with an extra syllable after verbs ending with a T sound, such as accepted, appreciated, cheated, connected, excited, interrupted, invented, rejected, started, waited, and after verbs ending with a D sound, avoided, decided, ended, expanded, guarded, included, needed, pretended, reminded, succeeded. And we pronounce ed like d without adding an extra syllable after all other English verbs that don't fit into the first two categories. Look at the difference between these two verbs. To form the past of appear, we say appeared. Both appear and appeared have two syllables each. We don't add an extra syllable for the ed. But with the verb accept, the past tense is accepted. Except has two syllables, and accepted has three. The ed adds an extra syllable. Let's practice pronouncing ed like d without the extra syllable. This happens after verbs ending with an r sound. Appeared. Compared. Considered. Entered. Remembered. 
and after verbs ending with the V sound. Arrived. Received. Observed. Improved. Saved. As well as after verbs ending with the Z sound. Advised. Buzzed. Paused. Raised. Sneezed. It's the same for verbs ending with an L, M, or N sound. For example, killed. Pulled. Traveled. Claimed. Jammed. Burned. Examined. Explained. Turned. Warned. And after verbs ending with the vowel sound. Borrowed. Annoyed. Cried. Glued. Carried. Weighed. We also pronounce ed like d after verbs ending with the b, g, or j sound. For example, robbed, scrubbed, belonged, hugged, arranged, encouraged, challenged, judged. Managed. Let's review. The ed ending only adds an extra syllable when after a verb ending with t or d, such as want and wanted, decide and decided. In all other cases, it does not add an extra syllable. Miss becomes missed. Receive becomes received. To improve your speaking further, join my American English pronunciation course. You can train your pronunciation and get an evaluation at the end. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information.